This is the classic jumbo in a caviar leather with silver hardware. How much I wanted this handbag? Oh my god, you cannot imagine. And now I have it for over six years and it's been my number one everyday handbag. I'm sorry if I'm gonna be looking a little bit up, but there is a camera. This is my first video. Be patient, please. So this is my handbag. As I said before, I've been really using my jumbo every single day. Sometimes I even think it's too much <laughs> because I do have other handbags. <laughs> but it's just very, you know, easy, chic, classic. It matches everything. It matches my work clothes. It matches, yeah, it matches my work clothes, even it's blue. Because I have uniform. I work in retail. So yeah, look at that. It's so, such a beautiful little thing, right? So let's get started. There we go. You excited? You know, I always take it very interesting to see these kind of videos. I really enjoy them. I've been watching many YouTubers who do what's in their handbag videos because I was told I carry too much of stuff in my bag. I mean, those are my things. You know, I like to have them with me. I don't really care what's the opinion of other people. That's my bag. Let's get started. This is the double flap. Let me show you. Oops. That's how it looks inside at the moment. And on the top, as you could see, the dark little pouch are my sunglasses. These are selling sunglasses in my Chanel pouch. And I like to carry just very soft, small pouches because it doesn't take too much of space in the handbag and it protects the sunglasses from scratching. So do not ask me what's the name of these glasses because I don't know. And it doesn't say, it says numbers. So there you go. Look, the classic black oversized. Every time I wear them, I feel so chic. The only problem is it's a little too wide for my face. I have to take them to Celine and find out if they can like, you know, size it. Can they do that? I don't know. I mean, they should be able. Or maybe just like sunglass store, right? Maybe better. So the next thing what I have in my handbag and we all carry the same thing in our handbag is a cell phone, right? This is the uh, Apple 11. This is my little tiny size, travel size deodorant from Corpus. This is natural deodorant. It doesn't have chemicals. It's based on, uh, oh my God, the natural ingredients. So it literally it smells like, do you, if you like Le Labo company, you would enjoy this because it's very earthy. It's very natural. I personally even would like perfumes with this kind of scent. The next thing, I do live in Miami. Guys, Miami gets hot. So I carry in my handbag little face mist. This one is from Biologic Research. Let me show you if the camera takes it. There we go. This is the smaller size and I have to tell you every time I use it, I mean, not just biologic research, I had many different brands before. It just gives you that I'm ready. Let me actually do it right now because I'm doing YouTube video and it's my first YouTube. So I can do it. <laughs> yeah, it works. So it's getting a little bit less, a little bit less stuff. The next thing, speaking of Le Labo, my favorite perfume, the Noir 29. So the first time I discovered this scent, oh, come on camera. No, I will put it below for you. The first time I discovered this perfume was at the Edition Hotel in New York. And I mean, not the perfume, they were using the cosmetic products like the you know, shower gels, shampoos and things like that. And I was so obsessed with the scent that I searched and searched and searched. And the perfume, I believe, didn't, ex didn't exist at the time yet. I think they made it after because so many people liked it. So they actually created this one. So my husband told me the first time, oh, you smell like a hotel. I'm like, no, I smell like perfection. It's my favorite. And if you know me, you know 
that's what I wear literally all the time it's perfect for the day and night so the next thing is little Ricola and this Ricola this one is so good guys this one is the honey and lemon and it's you know inside of it is the honey and once you like get to the part and it like explodes it gives you very nice sinus cleanup <laughs> it's awesome it's awesome so the next thing will be eye drops this is just classic visine advanced but whatever works for me any day i work in retail like i mentioned before and on the end of the day you know the bright lights which we use for the diamonds are so strong my eyes are just in pain they are dry they're irritated and then when i have to drive home you know this is just like lifesaver lifesaver for me for the work days hand cream this one is from l'occitane i've been using l'occitane for oof, maybe 15 years now don't ask me how old i am i'm 35 but that's okay <laughs> i'm proud of my age there we go lost it in. the next thing house key there we go i don't have house key at the moment because we are home right because covid so we are home we don't go anywhere so the car key is on a kitchen counter safe from me the next thing is a little perfume this is a travel size i cannot really pronounce the name of this company but if you know the baccarat rouge this is the same brand but this one is called grand soir and you know i usually go for perfumes which are like clear or which are in gold tones i don't know why it just has like something it brings me back to my childhood this kind of scent and even i cannot really use it in miami because it's quite heavy I like to, you know, sometimes just go to it and I smell it and it brings me back to Czech Republic and to the days when there was a winter time because, you know, I love winter, I love fall, I enjoy all the fashion and cuticle oil because I wash my hands like a crazy person, hand cream and cuticle oil, I have to have them all the time with me. And one of my favorite things, do you know what is this? It looks weird right but you open it and there we go a fan very good tool if you live in you know hot weather and i like how it falls it doesn't take much space and i literally have each one fan in each of my handbags because i do use them i use them the next thing will be my wallet oops my handbag almost fell oh my god you almost fell on the floor <laughs> this is my chanel pouch it's not a classic wallet you people most people use or you know the card case the card case is too small for me and what i like about this pouch i can even put like lipstick there and i just like take this and i go for lunch with my friends at work of course and you cannot do that with card case really so pouches i prefer pouches over card cases or classic wallets oh my god my hair my hair i'm sorry guys i was told i touched my hair so much but that's okay as well that doesn't bother me <laughs> that goes crazy so the classic things in a wallet credit card you know a little bit of cash my husband always yells at me that if i don't have cash in my wallet i mean it's 2020 and i have these you know this works all the time and all right if that doesn't work i have a second one just kidding <laughs> but he does gets upset and the next thing you know like insurance cards and like all boring things the one good thing is picture of my dear husband there this picture i took in california a couple years ago don't judge me guys but i don't like to just throw away things if they don't look perfect because it's a plastic and you know extra plastic it's not necessary so this is my hairbrush it's missing you know some of that how do you call these i don't know whatever it's missing them but it does the job it still works so i keep it and my little tiny 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 makeup pouch this one is from mac 
and I like to carry a little clear one like this because I can actually see things what I have inside there <laughs> eyebrow pencil there is to me nothing worse than bad eyebrows like if there is somebody having bad eyebrows that's the first thing I see and it bothers me and for me imagine my eyebrow is like gone <laughs> you know like it's not there or I did something and it's not there it will just drive me crazy so I always have one brow pencil and this one is from Anastasia which is the name brow with medium brown medium brown because I have dark hair and I like to have a little bit as you can see darker eyebrows even I don't use Anastasia pencil for my eyebrows now I use the new thing from MAC which is like the it looks like a little fix or sharpie and you just draw little strokes to make it look very natural I love that thing ladies if you want to go for like microbladed look go for that one so if you know me you know I am obsessed with lipsticks as much as with hand creams <laughs> so I always carry a couple different shades of nudes or nude with like pinkish tone this one is from Laura Mercier the beige intim color the next one I have is from Victoria Beckham guys and this one is so old I cannot even tell you the name because it's like gone but this one is from her first collection which she did in, with Estee Lauder and look I'm running out it's almost gone I'm not gonna purchase another one <laughs> breaks my heart the next product for what I have for my lips is Armani and this one does have the sticker so I can't tell you the color either I'm so sorry but it's beautiful pinkish tone and this even it looks like gloss it's actually lipstick when you apply it it's very moisturizing and it turns like matte and it stays on your lips it's really really good oh, and if we go back to the lips I just recently started using lip pencils and this one matches all my lipsticks <laughs> which are nude pinkish tones and this one is from MAC Soar color and I why so why I start using um, lip pencil is is because I tried to do this video before and I noticed that this side of my lip is uneven towards this one so I overline a little bit of this side to match it can you tell and I wear a lot of ponytails in Miami so these are my little tools little you know how you call these ponytail things and I live in Miami the humidity here sometimes I cannot have my hair down because my hair is thin and fine and the second I go out it's like phew, it turns into this crazy looking hair and I don't like to look crazy so the next little thing is a Tiffany pouch guys this Tiffany pouch carries my little secrets my meditation rocks I have a different styles here like I say I'm working it out no I dropped one but it didn't break thank god I carry different rocks with different quartz stones because I believe in meditation and positive energy and you know that you can bring it to yourself even if you are stressed if somebody makes you mad or if somebody's picking on you what I do I just find calm place quiet place and I meditate for 15 minutes if I can even five minutes is good five minutes is better than nothing so I always have those in my handbag especially my everyday handbag which I take to work with me the next thing is my little Chanel compact and this thing I have for so many years it's just a classic little mirror which you know but it's Chanel and here the secret love leather packet so here I carry what I carry more cash this packet makes my husband happy <laughs> but this is the only handbag which has it so this is really the only handbag which I carry cash in if I, unless I have my little pouch with cash in it so yeah guys this is it 
you know, sometimes I put even things to the back packet here, but there is nothing right now. There you go. There goes my Chanel everyday handbag. I hope you enjoyed the video and I would like to see yours. So please subscribe and I see you next time. Have a nice day. Bye bye.